Hello! Hello everyone, thank you for jumping on and watching the recording, or thank you for joining me live, if you're joining me live. Um, I'm actually really nervous today, jumping on um, Facebook Live, because um, I've been doing a lot of uh, personal development. For those of you that know me, you know I'm a personal development junkie, so I'm always reading um, self-improvement books, inspirational stories, listening to YouTube videos, or podcasts or anything. And... <laughs> I don't know if you can tell that I'm really nervous, but I am. And the reason I'm nervous is because I'm actually going, um, I'm having a big internal struggle because the topic that I'm wanting to talk about is our ego mind, or um, as one of the people that I really look up to calls it, our mean girl. Um, so that's Melissa Ambrosini. For those of you that know her, know that she's absolutely amazing, but she sort of calls our ego in our mind our mean girl or our bad boy. <laughs> and I love that because for me, I can just really picture that. But anyway, I'm going totally against what my mean girl's telling me in my head today, and I decided to um, come on and make um, a couple of announcements against what she's telling me in my head. Um, and I think that's why I'm so nervous, but I think after I do this, I'll be feeling amazing. And um, for those of you watching as well, for those of you that have ever done anything that like feels really scary, you know it feels amazing afterwards. So I'm kind of coming on for that reason. But basically, like a whole series of events happened before um, I decided to come on live today. And the first of those being that, yeah, I was listening to self-development, some personal development, as I was telling you um, at the beginning of the video. And um, so one of the books that I'm currently reading is actually called Beautiful Money by one of my mentors, Leanne Jacobs. So this isn't an awesome book and it actually hasn't come out yet, but um, I'm part of a group where we're reading it um, sooner. So it's really amazing. Like I highly recommend this book. I think it comes out January 3rd or something like that, um, 2017. So it's a really, really good book. But anyway, it's like a complete four-week holistic wealth makeover. And it's all about um, creating wealth in a really um, holistic way. Um, and she sort of talks about the concept of our wealth kind of reflects our self-worth. So she calls it self-worth slash wealth-worth. Anyway, kind of getting off topic. But anyway, she's amazing. So I've been reading her book and um, I'm just in week one at the moment because it's a four-week um, kind of course slash book. But I'm reading week one. And so it got me really inspired to start reading some, um, listening to some of Leanne's podcasts. So Leanne Jacobs is on um, on podcasts, what do we call it, um, with a segment called Beautiful Money. And so I've been listening to some of hers and they're so good. So I highly recommend them. Um, I think I've listened to two or three now and one of them was on fear, which is really good. And the other one that I listened to was her interview with Melissa Ambrosini. So Melissa Ambrosini is somebody that I've been following for quite a long time now. And I absolutely love everything she's about. Like her brand is amazing. Um, what she talks about is just so on point. And she was actually one of the big, um, I guess, like reasons why I shifted to... Um, becoming more regular at meditating and um, starting to understand that I do have this voice in my head that isn't necessarily serving me all the time, which she calls our mean girl. Um, and on the podcast, she gave some awesome advice because she said, obviously, in her book, Mastering Your Mean Girl, which I've actually got, but I haven't read. It's actually my um, flatmates, but I haven't read it yet. Um, and I really should. I'm, I felt really inspired to read it after this. And I've got like a list of books this Book that I'm planning on reading by the end of the year, so we'll see how that goes, because <laughs> I'm a slow reader. But anyway, she said that, you know, if you haven't read that book yet, or if you're, like, on your way to getting that book, here's three things that you can do to help master that thought, because that, um, that, those thoughts in your mind, I suppose, are, um, not serving you. Um, those ego thoughts, those mean girl thoughts, they're kind of just to, to keep you where you are, which obviously it does have a purpose, but in the world we live in today, for the most part, most of the things that we hear from our ego mind um, isn't really serving us. So we have to learn to kind of shut the door on that and um, follow our intuition, which is easier said than done for sure. <laughs> um, and then I saw a live video pop up from one of my really, really good friends, um, Stephanie Packer, who um, is Canadian based, and she decided that she was going to do a challenge where she comes on Facebook Live every day for the month of December. 
Um, and as part of her kind of stepping out and stepping up a little bit more and going out of her comfort zone. And I thought that's a really awesome idea. And then as soon as I was thinking, oh, I should do that, I started having all of these thoughts go through my mind. And I was thinking, oh my gosh, yes, I have to do this. So I decided to come on Facebook Live pretty much straight away as soon as I could. Um, and I'll just, um, I'm like, not sure if I'm going to say this, but I'm going to say it. Um, I'll share with you a couple of the thoughts that have been going on in my mind, the things that my mean girl has been saying to me, because I think um, through me sharing, um, potentially it will help you guys see as well that everybody kind of has those fears and those thoughts. And I think it'll be interesting as well for you guys to witness the journey of um, as I do push through um, those thoughts. But anyway, what Melissa was saying, back to, I haven't forgotten the three tips that Melissa said. It's on the podcast as well if you do want to listen to it. Um, but the three things she said is the first one is awareness. So under, being aware of which thoughts are actually, you know, your intuition, which thoughts are actually divinely guided and which ones are your mean girl. Um, your mean girl or bad boy thoughts are generally the ones that are um, not very kind. <laughs> Because um, our intuitive thoughts are always of our highest good. And someone saying that you're not good enough is definitely not of your highest good. So being aware, and she says to actually write down what, um, what your ego mind is telling you. So she says, start it off with, you know, my mean girl is saying right now, or my bad boy is saying, um, blah, 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 blah. And write those things down so you can really get clear on which thoughts you actually shouldn't be listening to. You know, which thoughts should be going into the category that aren't serving you. Um, and then secondly, don't invite her in. So shut the door on her. Say thank you, but no thank you. Um, you know, acknowledge those thoughts. And obviously, like like I said, there is purpose for our ego mind. Um, and so acknowledging it and saying, you know, I hear what you're saying. Thank you, but I don't need this right now. No thank you. Um, is sort of a good way to shut those thoughts down in, um, in a positive way. And then choose love instead, because we can, we always come from a place of love or fear. Um, and when we build our life from a place of love, obviously things will begin to flow and things will be so beautiful. Whereas if we build our um, life from a place of fear, it's kind of the opposite, you know? So choose love instead. So it's awareness. Um, thank you, but no thank you to the mean girl. And then choose love instead. And so... <laughs> As I was having this idea that I was going to come on live, some of the thoughts that started going around in my mind um, that I've decided now, it was really good though, because once I wrote them down, I was like, man, that's so true. Those aren't, that's not true. That's not me. Like as I was writing it down, I knew it wasn't me. And it was kind of like, yeah, really empowering because now I knew that those thoughts hold no power for me anymore. So for me, the experience was really good. Um, some of the things that my main girl was saying to me is that um, I'm lazy and I don't look good enough to be on camera, <laughs> which I know is not true because I'm not either of those things. I look awesome. <laughs> Um, and, um, if I share what, what I think it will make people devalue me, I have no idea why that thought was even in my head because, you know, me and my heart, I don't believe that, but apparently that thought was, she was telling me that, um, I said that I'm not creative enough to think of content to come on live, um, to share my ideas with everybody. But really the fact of the matter is I've, you know, I've been, um, on a personal development, I've been an entrepreneur um, a personal development journey, I meant to say, and I've been an entrepreneur for, um, four years. Like I've been, um, growing and learning in generally for about a decade now about a lot of the topics that I talk about. So, um, I have so much goodness to share and, you know, and, and I know that, um, there are things that can really help, um, impact people's lives. So, um, I do know that I have lots to talk about. So kind of just like, putting that thought out there. And then I, my other thought that um, my mean girl was putting in my head was that people aren't interested in what I have to say. So I thought, what better way to say thank you, but no thank you to her than coming on live and exposing her and um, making the commitment that I'm not going to listen to that. And um, I don't know if I'm actually going to come on every day, but now that I'm saying it out loud, I probably think every day for December I should come on live, so I'll do that, and I'll share something with you guys every day, I'll let you know how the journey's going of mastering my personal mean girl, and um, as well with the holidays coming up as well, I have some awesome nutritional tips as well that could really benefit some of you guys, um, and then as well I think just... Um, as we move forward as well, there's some other things that could really help us not nutritionally moving into this season because I know it's always um, a big time of year for people. Um, 
again, thank you for watching me. It's probably gone on way longer than I thought because, as you can tell, I like talking once I get started. How long? 10 minutes. Okay. Anyway, that's all from me. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, sending you guys big love, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Mwah.